In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an animation to MetaHumans in the animation sequencer. Uh, I've been getting a lot of comments about this. I'm not an expert in this, but I can basically show you the basics of getting an animation working in the sequencer and how to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a MetaHuman onto the scene. So I'm hoping that at this point you have a MetaHuman available. So I'm just going to drag it onto the screen right here. And um, there we have it. So if I hit play, um, you'll see uh, my character here looking at the other metahuman and what I want to do is I want to add an animation sequencer to make that metahuman in front of us um, be in the idle state and then move walk across in front of me so what you want to do is you want to go on the top here uh, like a sequencer so you very click on it you click on add level sequence and it asks you where you want to save it uh, I'm just going to save it in content I'm going to call it new level sequence and I'm going to hit save and you should see, you should get this um, sequencer open right here. Um, so this is basically where you make your animation sequence. And what you want to do here, you want to give it the uh, character or the actor that you want to actual animate. So I'm going to press on track. I'm going to go actor to sequencer. And I'm going to choose the BP tray that I dragged onto the scene. So you can choose whatever that you want to animate here. So the trick with... Um, metahumans that a lot of people have issues with and they can't animate is that when you actually load it into the sequencer you see this metahuman control rig um, and in order to make your animations work um, you need to disable this because what a control rig does is it allows you to um, also animate the metahuman yourself so you can create your own animations like for example i can i can grab the sole of this foot and i can bring it up a little bit right so i can create my own kick animation but if that's not what you want to do, um, which from the comments you wanted to make the animations that you already have work. So in order to do that, you want to disable this rig. And the way you do that, you right click on it and you go to uh, mute right here. And that way you can uh, add in the animations that we already made for it. So you're going to click on the body and you want to add... Uh, you want to click on the add plus button, the plus track, and you want to go to animation. And over here, it lets you choose whatever animation that you want. So in my case, I'm going to add the idle animation. And if you haven't uh, seen the video on how to actually create um, animations from your metahuman and retarget, I'll put a link in the description. And you're going to choose the animation that you want. I'm going to choose the idle animation. And you can see immediately the character goes into the idle pose right here so if i hit play on the bottom right here you'll see that the character is in idle and on the bottom you can see um, the timeline uh, right here so it's it's going to go for however many seconds that you draw the red line here and then it's going to stop so if you hold control and you can scroll down so you can scroll out with your mouse and i'm going to move this idle a bit to the left reduce its size and uh, there I have my uh, the beginning of my animation sequence. So just like that, I, ha I have it in the idle state. Now I want it to walk across here. So what I want to do is I want to add the... Um, I'm going to expand this red line a little bit. I want to add the uh, walking animation. So again, I'm going to go into the... Uh, you'll see an animation has been added here. I'm going to click on the plus animation and I'm going to search for walk. And I'm going to choose the walk forward animation and you'll see it added right here. Again, I'm going to expand this a little bit, zoom out and I'm going to attach. So if you don't attach the two animations together, it's going to go back into T pose. As you can see here, what I wanted to do is I wanted to transition into the walk like this. So if I go back, you see it kind of does a transition and I'm going to expand the walk a little bit to make it a bit longer. And I'm, I'm going to increase the um, limit here so I can see a bit more from the right side. All right, so now I'm going to now I have a walk animation, but as you can see, it's walking into place. The way you fix that is you want to make it. Uh, so this is just an animation, right? You also want it to move. So th the way you do that, you want to go right where the walking is about to start, for example, and then you go back down here. So right now we're just tracking the body. We want to to see we want to be able to change the transform the position of the meta human we're going to go on the body we're going to click on the track icon and we're going to go to the transform right here and we're going to add the transform track and what we're going to do is we want to add a keyframe here from where we want to start walking so it this will save the position of the meta human at this point of the animation 
and then we're going to go all the way to the end where the walking is about to stop and right about here and you can you can make it more exact uh, i don't want to spend too much time on that part so i'm going to go to the transform and go to the location and this is the y axis you can see it here so i'm going to just increase this a little bit make the guy like walk a bit forward so now if i go back and i play the animation you can see that he's in idle and then he's going to start walking forward now you can change um right now it looks a bit unnatural right uh, the main reason being he's walking too slow for the distance he's traveling and you can play around with that You can like move this a little bit back uh, To make it look a bit more natural and maybe bring the walk animation a little bit back and then uh, You just play around with the timings a little bit and you'll get it right And that looks a bit better So now at the end and he goes back into the uh, T pose and maybe we don't want that we want him to go back to idle state for example So what we can do is we can again add an animation for example This is one way of doing it and we can go back to idle um, during the movie, right? So I'm gonna bring it back here so we don't go back into T pose So if I play the anim play the sequence now You'll see that the character is in idle state and then it starts moving forward and then it'll go back to idle state All right, so once you have that, you can do save. And now your animation is saved uh, for me in the content section here. So if I play this now, you'll notice that my character is not moving. He's just standing in the over there at the end, uh, which is not what we want. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm gonna bring this back. So you need to decide how you want your, when you want your animation sequence to play. Um, you know, do you want it to happen at the start? Do you want it to happen at the click of a button? That's all up to you. In my case, for just showing you how to do it, I'm just going to make it so that whenever the, you know, this starts, um, I want the animation sequence to play. So the way you do that is you right click in the blueprint and you do create player, se um, player level sequence player like this. And then I can attach this to this one right here. So whenever the game starts, uh, I'm going to choose the level sequence that we just created. And then I'm going to drag from this and there is a play sequence. Uh, make sure you choose this one. Play sequence player. If you want it to loop, you can choose the looping one. Um, you have a bunch of options here. So I'm just going to choose play and I'm going to choose. Um, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to take out the return value from this sequence player and I'm going to plug it in. Now if I hit compile and save now as soon as i start playing my character is going to be animated and you're going to see it right here so as you can see he's an idol now he's going to start walking across and just like that you have your a meta human animated with the sequence player i hope this was helpful and you know gets you started on whatever project that you're working on I have a more advanced course on how animations work exactly and it's going the first part's going to come out tomorrow bye